Hey entrepreneurs, it's Sam Day here from Day Tips and in this video I'm speaking about how you can create really effective and high converting Facebook ads using a website called Adobe Spark. So as you can see I'm on Adobe Spark at the moment on my laptop and um, this is actually a free platform that you can utilize. Now obviously they have some upgrade features as well so you might want to check out their plans as well just in case there are some features that you would like to include with your Facebook ads but as a rule of thumb it's pretty simple to use you can basically choose what format you would like to start creating your ad with or your post with so I tend to use either the Instagram stories the Instagram post or the Facebook posts now when you are creating your Facebook ads there's different formats for your ads so your ad can be seen across Instagram and Facebook in different formats so it can show up in the posts it can show up in feeds and it can also show up on Facebook as well obviously Facebook own Instagram so when you manage all of your ads within the Facebook ads manager then you can actually edit uh, what ad shows up where and if your ad is formatted correctly or formatted in a way that fits the screen that someone is is seeing and fits the format that someone is is viewing that ad on then it can actually help you to increase your conversions so I'm going to start off by looking at the Instagram stories and when you click on that it takes you into here where they they have loads of different templates for stories now these ones with the yellow uh, banner at the top of it means it's a premium story so again you would have to upgrade in order to have access to that but the ones without the banner you can utilize for free um, you can also search the templates as well so let's say for example I was promoting some sort of e-commerce brand um, then I can come in here and I can type in e-commerce and it will show me some of the e-commerce templates that they have available so um, I'm going to choose one that looks suitable this one looks good so I'm going to choose this one and it's fairly easy to edit stuff within Adobe Spark it's literally a click and drag and drop solution so um, if I wanted to take this out for example and add my image all I need to do is click on it and then these options come up here and I can delete that and I can add my product here so uh, my product actually has a a background to it and I want to remove the background and I'm going to use a website called remove.bg I love this website it really performs well so uh, remove.bg I'll leave a link to it in the description down below as well so I'm going to upload my file my original file and as you can see it does a fantastic job of removing the background of my image and I'm kind of going to put on screen now you can see the before and the after you know this is what my shoes looked like before I used remove.bg and this is what it looked like after and it's just fantastic my advice as well is if you're taking pictures of your products then try and take your your pictures on a consistent background either a white background a blue background put it against the wall or something like that so that when you do use remove.bg it, it, it can actually isolate your product from the background a lot easier um, so anyway I'm going to download this and then I want to go back to Adobe Spark and I can click on photos and I can upload my photo here and I can move this to where I need it to be on the page itself um, and I can play about with the background make it maybe make it bigger so it can fit the trainers um, and then you can play about with the colors as well so you literally can click on the background and you can edit the color to suit whatever it is you're going for and you can change the text as well simply by clicking on it remember you want to make the text something catchy because Instagram and Facebook marketing is what's known as interruption marketing so um, for example with Google that's search intent marketing so people are searching to find websites that they can buy from whereas when someone's on Instagram or on Facebook they're not necessarily looking for your advert so if they come across your advert you're interrupting their pattern you're interrupting what they came on that platform to do so you want to make sure your text draws them out in some way you know it should intrigue them it should encourage them to make a click so um, you might have something like for example today only so today only kind of creates an urgency within people because they're like oh okay I can only access this today or this week only or this month only creates that urgency so you want to really think about your target customers as well I've spoken about sales copy techniques in previous videos but you want to think about your target customer what's going to 
give them that urgency? What do they need? What do they want? What do they desire? And how can you put that in a way within your advert for Facebook that will encourage them to make a buying decision or a clicking decision in this case? So today only, um, you can put our, our online store. Um, and you might want to have a call to action as well for people to, to, to click or something like that. But that's also going to be on the button that people see within Facebook ads. So you don't necessarily have to have a call to action. Um, but you might want to put something like visit our website or because you know this is going to be a stories ad for Instagram, you could put swipe up so that people know what to do. That's the call to action for people to swipe up and visit your site. Um, so whatever you want the call to action to be, you can include that as well. But, you know, make sure the design is pretty simple, pretty clear. People know what they want to do. Now, you can also add animations within Adobe Spark. So you can keep it as an image ad if you wanted to. You can just keep it like this and upload that to your Facebook campaign. Or you can turn this image into a video by adding animation and it kind of just makes the video pop a little bit more, makes the ad pop a little bit more and it grabs people's attention. So they have text animation. So we're going to go through them. So you have the typewriter one. This is what that looks like. So it's like the text is kind of popping out to you a little bit more. You have dynamic as well, where the literally, literally the text just comes in. Um, and then you have Flickr where it flicks like this. This is kind of good for uh, if you have some sort of 50% off deal or something like that, then maybe use the Flickr option. And you have color shuffle, which is basically that just that. So the ad kind of pops a little bit more. As you can see, this looks really, really enticing and engaging. I um, mean, you can use that. I really like that one. So I'm probably going to select the color shuffle one, but I recommend just having a play and having a look at all of them and seeing which one works best for the uh, specific ad that you are creating. But I do really like this color shuffle one. I feel like it stands out. If someone is on Instagram or on Facebook and they're looking through their stories and they see this, it pops, it stands out and it makes people think, oh, what's this? Let me click on it. So that might be one that I choose. Uh, you also have the fade option where text just fades in. You have slide option where the text slides in um, and you have this grow option where literally it just grows in. Now you can add um, an animation to the photo instead of the text. And that's what this looks like. So you have it, it can zoom in. You have uh, it as a pan, it can pan in from one direction. You have it as gray as well. You can, you know, it can gray itself. I don't really like that one to be fair for a Facebook ad. Um, you have this blur option as well, which I don't recommend because obviously the products will be blurred at first. And remember with these ads, they only last a few seconds. So you want someone to see the product um, right out of the gate. Um, and you have this color one as well. I don't really like any of these, not for a, a product ad anyway, because you want people to see the product straight away. You don't want it to fade in. Um, but I would much rather have something like this color shuffle here. So this is the one I'm going to choose. And once you're finished, you can literally download it um, and you can download it as an MP4. So this is the downloaded file and this is what it looks like. Um, you will notice that it does have the Adobe Spark logo down here as well. So if you want to go premium and pay for Adobe Spark, it might be really worth the money for you so you can get rid of the Adobe Spark logo, but if you're not too bothered about that, then it will just be at the bottom right of your video or of your image. So like I mentioned, when, you, when you're creating your ad, your ad will show up in different places. It can show up in the feed and it can show up in the stories. So it is a good idea sometimes to have multiple ads that kind of fit the screen for whatever it is that people are looking at. If they look through their stories, it should fit that screen. If they're looking through their feed, it should fit that screen. So you kind of want to do your best to make sure that your ad looks similar, at least to your stories ad. So you might want to come back here and check on the image, uh, that the, the background. And if you edit the, the color of this, then you should find the color palette. You should be able to copy that. And when you're creating your post here, you can change the background of this as well and choose this to be the color that you have for your stories. Um, but I'm going to go to templates and I'm going to go to e-commerce. 
So I've found a template that looks okay. And um, I also have my green background now that's similar to the, the one for my stories. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the text to say something similar to what I have on my stories uh, today only. And then I'm going to add uh, some more text here by clicking on add text. And I'm going to say our online store or I'll choose visit our online store. So again, you want to try and make them as similar as possible. So I'm going to go to photos and upload my photo again. And this is literally just a really basic design. I'm going to get rid of what they've got here. Um, but this is just a really basic design. Uh, they do have some shapes as well that you can kind of add if you wanted to. Um, maybe some design assets as well that they have along here. Again, some of them are premium. Um, so that's something that you want to keep in mind as well. Um, but once you're happy with how it looks, you can then uh, download that as well. Again, you know, in a similar way, you can add add your animation. Maybe I'll add it uh, the typewriter one this time, and then you can download that. And then you want to go over to the Facebook Ads Manager, facebook.com forward slash ads manager, and you can create a new campaign. Um, you can decide what campaign to choose. Now, I've done videos about Facebook ads and what's the best campaigns to choose for what you are going for. Um, but that's not what this video is about. I'll leave some links in the description down below. But I'm just going to click on conversion just for the purposes of this video and continue. And I'm going to bypass all of this. Like I said, I've done videos on this before. Um, so you can kind of ask me questions in the comment section if you have issues with the setup of your Facebook ads, or you can go and watch some of my previous videos on Facebook ads. But I'm going to go right to this ad section here. And it gives you the option to add a single image or video, or you can add a carousel. So a, a single image or video would literally just be one video or one image, whereas the carousel will literally, uh, your the people who view your ad can actually flick through and see multiple images or videos. So it's completely up to you which one you choose. I'm going to go for the single image or video and I'm going to go to add media and I'm going to add video and I'm going to upload the video that I just created. I'm going to upload the one for the for the feed. And as you can see, it comes up here um, and it shows me how it will look. So it's still processing the video and you can actually edit your media here. So it's it shows you how it will show up in the feed. It shows you how it will show up in the stories. So I can edit this um, group here. And I don't want it to show up in my stories like this because it's, it's not in the correct format. So I can actually go here to change and I can upload. And then I can put the, the video that I made specifically for stories and I can open that one up. So you can see the difference here. This is the, the one for the feed. It doesn't show up that well for the stories. There's a there's blank spaces on, on, on the top and on the bottom and it's not in the right format. And sometimes as well, depending on what your image looks like, you can actually cut off some of what you're trying to, to show. Um, but now when I select the stories one that I've just uploaded um, and if I save that, it's, it's formatted a lot better. Um, and as you can see, because I've added the animation as well, my ad pops a lot more um, and then I can save that and publish my campaign. So hopefully this helps you guys out with creating some of your Facebook ads. Now, obviously I've chosen e-commerce templates here, but you don't have to choose e-commerce templates. It could be for your Shopify store, your WooCommerce store, but it can also be for your services as well. Or if you're promoting a webinar or some sort of event, you can use Adobe Spark to help you to create engaging graphics. I will be doing future videos on Facebook ads as well. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss when those videos go live. Please do leave your comments in the comment section if you have any questions or queries or if there's something I didn't cover in this video that you would like to know about. I also have the formula guys. Now I can't stress enough how important this is. As you can see, there's a copy next to me. I will also leave a copy of it somewhere on this screen and in the description down below. This is the formula to generating leads and sales online for your business. If you want to run successful Facebook ads and you want to run a, a successful website that helps to promote your products and your services, this ebook is completely free. I don't charge anything for it and it will take you through some of the fundamentals 
So do make sure you go and download your free copy. But I really do hope that this video brought you value. And if it did, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day. Make sure you download the formula and I will see you soon.